our greatest testimony today came out of prayer and fast. I read all in the woods. It was a change in the story. God show me. Why is this church not growing? Not sitting on your bed and watching TV. God show me. I'm watching TV. If you have anything to tell me, tell me now because I'm, I'm very engaged. Why is this church not growing? Now, let's go to meet him. So I told three of the fellows, we are going to meet God to find out why is this church not growing. In a fast. It's not the kind of prayer we pray today that you pray five minutes to sit down. It's one point and you pray till you almost die. <laughs> so we began praying. We began praying. On the third day, Jesus came. Life. He said, stand up and follow me from the prayer room. And I was following. I mean, life, life. No fabrication. I've not added one statement to what he said. You've heard me say that over the years. There's a light that shines in darkness. And darkness comprehended you know. Get off that roof. And I saw it folded away. Then he gave me four instructions. That will grow any church anywhere in the world. It came from the mouth of the master builder. One, you must deal with the gates of hell. For the church to get on the growth path. That's this black stuff there. So you must go tell the people come and see what I Jesus is doing in this church don't sit up in church get out we have been going out since March 84 unabated the millions of tracts and flyers that this earth has drunk God has a record and kept sowing the seed life applicable teachings and as the grass grows the sheep will come for it. And finally, keep the grass green. And the sheep will lie down there. So no go and come. They will lie down there. And that is the master key that has kept this church on an ever-growing path. It came out of fasting. Don't eat up your tomorrow. Don't be another Esau. Of a muscle of meat, I'm almost dying. Dying of what? We are not sick. Dying of missing one meal. Everything that works takes work.